Hi friends, I've been asked a few times already, well, uh, not just recently, but even before, like, uh, people were interested in uh, grounding and so on, and I, I have been uh, through a lot of grounding experiences last uh, years, uh, from especially from 2013, when uh, I really I started to feel a lot of, uh, you know, energies and disactivations and so on, so I really needed to uh, ground and you know we we are guided with something and uh, someone is giving us ideas and so on and uh, I was really being guided to ground myself a lot so I in a way discovered uh, several techniques uh, that worked for me that I would like to share but of course um, uh, it doesn't necessarily uh, can apply to you like what you need and also it depends on the moment uh, so, uh, with some techniques, I would like to also perform them, so you can tune into that energy and maybe do it with me, so it will be, in a way, uh, exercise. Uh, then, uh, some things will be more me talking about it. Uh, for example, I also experienced, like, even after these few years of, uh, like, having strong experiences with the grounding also, they discovered, uh, I... I had a channeling class with the rope got here, you know, probably him. And so, uh, like, his grounding technique was like something like, yeah, this is really like a serious thing. Because when you, if you know him, uh, I guess you know that you, uh, he is a really good channel of many different entities. And uh, the way he brings them through is uh, quite intense. So I was not surprised then. Uh, that he actually he needs to ground in in that way so strongly so i in a way would like to share my experience with it and i probably even like a review of that uh, whole class that and classes that i had with him and uh, uh even like um i started to uh do or having these moves to uh start uh, group channelings and so on and uh, after the last call, that the f well, first call that I had, uh, it was uh, not still channeling well in a way like I would let to completely just Shayla through or uh, channel in a way that I would put myself aside, that would be maybe a better uh, description because I was still channeling and a lot of energy was coming through me but I was uh, there like uh, conscious pre um, consciously present and afterwards I was so accelerated that it was, <laughs> I was never so like a hyper after that and it was just, I don't know, with the um, six or seven people, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, like uh, that uh, came in and went to the call. So after that I was very ungrounded and even before the call I I received or was feeling these messages coming to me that next week, the, it's now, <laughs> this week, that I have to do uh, my grounding techniques and exercises every day before next call that would be channeling. Uh, and it's on a Saturday, so today is Wednesday, so it's a few days, you know. And so I started on Monday and uh, it was interesting. I <laughs> Even this, like, I have a list in my uh, phone, like, the grounding techniques that I want to share or videos <laughs> uh, and it's uh, even like I got stressed by even that that I wanted to do them all you know and I, I started to be angry even just because of it that I was not sure like uh, what to do or which one uh, in what order and so on and then I felt that yeah definitely I, I need to uh, connect with the villa for that and that um, though she was uh, guiding me, even these experiences that I had, because some experiences that I want to share are not really about the technique, but just the moment of what happened and, some, and you can probably learn something from it or to tune into that energy of, uh, of what happened. And uh, many things was uh, about her also. And so she was uh, helping me with it. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, but I... I, I didn't insist on knowing uh, like who that was, but yeah, I, I'm sure right now that it was uh, her. So, and and even 
like uh, last month and so on and when I feel not enough presence in this moment I I feel to call her or feel even like she's even calling me to connect with her more so she can support me in this way so this week I, or yesterday I, I really felt like um, asking her for help or being with me uh, and she really started to uh, guide me she immediately told me like what I should do now and it was about exercise so I started to ex exercising and then I was doing something like a, a squats uh, I, I guess that is the name uh, for that uh, thing that um, she asked me to do it a little bit differently and it's it was of, of course weird, <laughs> weird way to do it so I was feeling a little bit embarrassed, but uh, she was guiding me mostly to focus on energy and so on. So, so yeah, there, there would be also, I would be talking about exercise. But in this video, this is like a first video for those uh, series of videos that I would like to make uh, after soon, I don't know, in a few weeks or months uh, to share s slowly because I, I have also other things that I would like to share. And um, and so first thing that, that I would like to share is about like what is grounding or what is being grounded because uh, through the uh, conversations with the people or what they ask me I I saw that uh, uh, you know the words are just labels and everybody has different idea before uh, behind the word so even grounding that I, I actually was calling more like anchoring that the grounding was not so precise word for me and last years I was uh, mostly switching into feeling it like anchoring in anchoring into the this reality anchoring myself somewhere that that was grounding for me and so uh, also like um, I've been asked uh, during private session like if I ever was not grounded <laughs> the person asked me and I was like yeah, so this this was like why uh, why she is asking that or <laughs> of, of course I, I am not always grounded even in that moment I was not so I was then thinking like why she even asked asked that so it uh, for her uh, because everybody is different and that that's what I mean like uh, she shared with me also something that I felt like no 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 experience that I had or technique was specifically fitting to her uh, to her but as i am empathetic i was able to tune into all of her energies and feelings and i became her uh, in that sense and then i in a way received the information for myself therefore for her so that's why i also can deliver into, into intuitively some help during these kind of sessions uh, so that's that's uh, why I mentioned that in the beginning that not all techniques that I will share can be usable because everybody is different and uh, there can be different ways that you need in that moment uh, of and even like uh, those last days or these days that I want to do grounding uh, Will Adam told me uh, yesterday that uh, to focus just on uh, three uh, techniques at, uh, every day do just three and uh, not uh, trying to start from the beginning just pick the, the tree and she will also help me like uh, in or in a moment to feel like uh, which uh, to choose or which tree that, in that day and also the order so and then uh, also today I, I I received something what I should do today and I was not sure about the order but really uh, when I was in the time and space when I was ready to do it I felt like which one to pick so you really need to trust the flow that you will in that moment when you are ready to do it you will feel like what exactly you want to do first and that is also being grounded partially or, or the part, yes the part, part of it that uh, being conscious of it you do not don't have to figure out everything in a moment so uh, that's why the person asked me about that that uh, she was perceiving being grounded um, not having the busy mind in a way uh, but busy mind or solving the busy mind is not really just grounding in the in the moment when she asked me I really was uh, mindful and my mind was very focused but 
I thought in my um, in my energy, I was in a way somewhat stressed, or there was a, like a storm or busy energies in my body. Although I tried to relax uh, before the or the prepare like uh, grounding and this kind of stuff with my energy before the session, but uh, at the time the energies were really strong and crazy. So I. For me, at that moment was just being present, like relaxed with my energies that I was feeling and not really like stressing that I should be something else. It is, for example, the best grounding I was able, able to do <laughs> in that moment. But the like the most, most ground, grounded state that I, I understand to be or I experienced is not just focused and silent mind, but also like the whole energy. And it, it cannot happen even like just through one exercise or one day. Uh, it needs different techniques using different uh, for a few few days, and many many different things can support it. And you can shift into really like your whole body is very integrated, in an integrated state, very calm, and you don't need to hurry anywhere uh, anywhere. You of course can always create, but you are really fully in the present and um, you can use your mind also then and, uh, and so on but the busy mind doesn't mean necessarily that you are or that it's just about this that you are not grounded of course uh, so it's it's more like a effect of that you are not grounded not the real reason that you are not grounded the mind uh, so this is what I also wanted to share, that uh, of course, when you want to get grounded, working with your mind and silencing it is also important, but if your energy field that has nothing to do with the mind, but your mind can get busy just because there is so, such a storm in your field, that uh, then uh, you need to focus or do something that would calm those energies in your body. Of course, there are things for about like a root chakra, other chakras, blah blah, many many different things, solving emotions and so on. So um, this is just again something general uh, about it. So so yeah, I, I would like to share some some stories also about uh, this these techniques and perform. For example, on Monday I did something that I felt like, like those techniques I would I could. Uh, a platform for you, like how, how does it feel in the moment when I am doing it and so on. So hopefully it will also help you to do it when you do it with me maybe on a video that uh, you would feel feel it when I am doing it and I will try to also do those videos that I would be connecting with the, with you in a way, I don't know how to do it in a general way like uh, in a video but I would do the best I can to really emit that energy sample to be available for whoever, whoever will connect with me or is able to feel it to the video uh, so yeah, i guess that's that's all for now but i have i don't know maybe even like a 12 uh, uh, items in my list like what i would like to talk about so uh, and uh, when i was reading some i i was not sure like what i meant so <laughs> maybe i will skip some so uh, so yeah um Again, I don't know when I will do my next video, but I was feeling to record many videos today, so <laughs> um, I hope in the following days I will share something, some new new thing, and then uh, with some time um, I share more. Uh, even when I record them today, I, I want to uh, give it like uh, with some time time gap, yeah. So. Uh, feel free to check also the other videos on my on my YouTube channel. There are some. You no, know, I, I am connecting with the Shela Yayo entity. So there are channelings, also some other experiences I have. When you check the playlist, I, uh, I put every video into some categories. So uh, you can check those categories. There are channelings, also some yeah, channeling from the. Rob got, got here when I was speaking with the Sheila through him. Uh, so that's about our relationship playlist and um, and I don't know what I have there. Of course, I have stuff on Facebook. I 
I don't blame you that you, <laughs> some people are asking me like where, where they should start because I have uh, stuff everywhere like uh, YouTube and something in the notes on Facebook and here and I have another profile and it's a complete mess. So <laughs> yeah, but shelayayel.viblicom um, is uh, I guess the best way where to start and check from there like other areas. So. Uh, subscribe, con contact me if you feel like to or comment on this, uh, even if you have some um, question about grounding, grounding or anchoring um, or your own experience that you feel like sharing, you can of course comment and, and stuff, I don't know. <laughs> so goodbye and see you later.